Hey guys, how's it going? I'm um, just doing a video to show you that I've actually got some CO2 running in my tank at the moment. Um, so this isn't the new CO2 kit, uh, this is just my dad's one that we refilled the other day. Uh, we're just going to trial it in this tank uh, for about a week or two and just see how it goes with the plants. If it improves it, um, then we might sort of speed up the process of getting another kit. Because um, as you know, they're not the cheapest things. I think it would cost about $350 to get a whole kit, including a 6 kilo cylinder. Um, so we're going to see how this goes, uh, see how much the, pr the plants improve and if it helps get rid of my algae and stuff like that. So that's the diffuser at the moment. Um, it's just a normal um, glass diffuser with the ceramic plate on top and you can see the filter there is uh, blowing all the CO2 bubbles around the tank. Uh, there is a little bit escaping at the top. If you can just see, it probably looks like a lot more because it's all blowing in this direction. Um, but there, there are a few bubbles that sort of escape at the top there. You can see they sort of just flow off but Yes, you can't really prevent that, um, and I've probably got quite a bit of CO2 going at the moment as well, so... Um, anyway, we'll see how that goes. Uh, apart from that, all the plants, well, all the fish are doing great. Um, the plants are covered in algae. Uh, I've got these little moss trees that I made. Um, they're not doing too bad, they're, they're growing, but they're starting to get some cladophora in there. And um, I put some little stones around all the plants, so I'll just go around to the front if I can move around um, so you can see the little stones there at the bottom and I just sort of spread them around the tank um, just to sort of give it a bit more I don't know not really volume but um, since I don't have that many plants at the moment it's looking pretty bare and empty so um, hopefully once everything grows in and once I get some more plants and stuff like that hopefully it'll start looking better um, and yeah, there's not too much more I can tell you. Um, you can see this black beard algae growing on my Anubias, which doesn't look that ga that good. Um, I've got some new shoots of Anubias coming through on these little stems. Um, so hopefully they won't grow any uh, algae once I have the CO2 running. And hopefully everything will sort of fix itself, I guess. Um, still got all the neons, the glass catfish, still got all six of those. Um, I actually had a dead guppy in my tank yesterday. Uh, it was one of the bluish black ones, I think. Um, I think that one was just really old and he ha didn't, uh, he, sorry, he wasn't looking that great for the past few months. And um, even though I dosed with some antifungal uh, medicines and stuff like that, uh, he wasn't getting any better. And I think he was just pretty old because he looked pretty old and torn up. So. Um, yeah, there's not much you can do about that. I've still got about three or four male guppies in here, um, as well as my endlers, which are sort of at the top here somewhere. Oh, where can I see one? Yeah, they're all actually at the top here. There we go. Um, apart from that, I've still got two bristlenose plecos. There's one at the back here, which you can't really focus on, but there's that one there, and the other one is probably hiding under the filter or something. Um, all the fish love hiding under the filter, so it's going to be interesting to see how they go when I get my new external canister filter. Um, but hopefully once all the plants grow in, they'll sort of have a bit more hiding space. And stuff like that. So that's pretty much all I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I've just placed the glass diffuser at the back there so the filter can sort of push all the CO2 around. You can't actually see it on the white background. A bit of a downside to the white background, but... um. Yeah, hopefully things are going to work out. So thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.